Ian Tomlinson's family laying flowers at his memorial in the city of London. The newspaper vendor collapsed and died near here during last year's G20 protests. Film footage later revealed he'd been struck and pushed to the ground by riot police. His family were angered by delays in the investigation that followed and they branded the eventual decision not to charge any officers outrageous. The Crown Prosecution Service said there was no realistic chance of a manslaughter conviction because of conflicts in expert medical evidence. Dr Freddie Patel, a trusted home office pathologist, carried out the first autopsy. He said Mr Tomlinson died of natural causes, but two other pathologists later said the cause of death was internal bleeding caused by blunt force trauma in combination with cirrhosis of the liver. It was said that this disagreement meant a jury could never properly find a policeman guilty of causing his death beyond reasonable doubt. Now Patel, the man responsible for the fatal flaw in the case, is waiting to hear if he'll be kicked out of the medical profession for a series of blunders he made in earlier post-mortems. In 2002, he examined five-year-old Anastasia Williams, who died in suspicious circumstances. Patel missed significant signs of violence on the child's body, concluding that she died from falling down the stairs. Her body had to be exhumed after x-rays revealed Anastasia had suffered broken bones in an attack. Her father and stepmother were later jailed for neglect and child cruelty. In a separate case, Patel changed his opinion on the cause of death to satisfy the family of an elderly woman. The General Medical Council has now found him guilty of misconduct, meaning he could be struck off. The 63-year-old's career as a pathologist appears to be effectively over, but the significance for the Tomlinson case is still far from clear. The dead man's family have said the GMC's findings raise serious questions about how Dr Patel was first appointed to one of the most controversial manslaughter investigations in years.